I got something for you in the mail. No way. I got in. I'm gonna go call your dad and tell him the good news. Oh my gosh, come on, Sophie. I always knew you'd get in. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Is there something wrong? No, no. I guess I'm just kind of confused. About what? Well, I was kind of under the impression that we were going to UCLA in the fall. Yeah, but that was before Columbia. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think it's great you got into your dream school, but it's not like UCLA is a bad school. Plus, you've already taken out loans for UCLA after your scholarships of financial aid. How are you supposed to pay for a private school like Columbia? I guess the good news is you're not the one who has to worry about that. No, you're right. I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I just wasn't prepared to think about something like that. I know. I shouldn't have said anything. It's fine. It's okay. Well, I came in to see if you wanted to get something to eat. What do you say? I wish, but I got an assignment that's due before five online, so now's not really a good time. Oh, yeah. Uh, no problem. Do you want to go out later so we can celebrate? Sorry, I already made plans with Kendra. But I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Yeah, okay. Awesome. Have fun with Kendrick. Okay, thanks. Bye. Goodbye. Where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. Sorry. It's just so loud down there. I can't think, and I got a headache. Well, I don't know if you've ever been to a party before, but they're not really ideal for contemplating life. <laughs> I know. It's just, I can't stop thinking. Yeah, well, before you start complaining about how many great schools you got into, again, I'd like to remind you that some of us are going to community college in the fall. I, just, I just feel like everything's happening all at once, and I don't know how to how to Please deal. Just with... stop. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a brat. <laughs> You're not being a brat. You're just super annoying. <laughs> I think you just need to chill out a little bit. Relax. Okay, I'm chill. I'm gonna relax. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. Okay, I'll prove it to you. Wait, where are we going? I just wanted to relax a little bit. I do. What are you doing? Could you be any louder? Who's your friend? This is my friend Maddie, and she just wants something to unwind a little bit. You're so stupid, Kendra. Why would you bring someone like her in here? It's fine. Right, Maddie? You can stop acting like you're the poster child for making good choices. You smoked weed before? Come on. It's kind of broadening your horizons a little bit. What? You afraid of needles or something? Don't worry. That's just my method of choice. I'm happy to provide you with a less invasive method. You want to forget about Luke, don't you? Okay, we'll just pretend this never happened. We... What are my options? Well, if it isn't my good friend Maddie from... We are not friends. <laughs> you destroyed my bedspread by puking on, on Friday night. I think that counts for something. Look, I'll get you money for a new bedspread. I just can't talk right now. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to get I off. I don't want your money. I actually already replaced it, but thanks. I just came to see how you're doing. I'm fine. Really? How do you feel? Itchy? Achy? Anything at all? I'm feeling like I don't want to have this conversation with you. Well, you know, if you change your mind and you do want to talk, you know where to find me. Oh, hey, Luke. Hey, what's up?
What's up? N nothing. This is Grant. He's friends with Kendra. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Luke. Nice to meet you. Actually, I gotta get going now, but uh, it was nice talking to you guys, though. See you around, Maddie. What was that all about? No idea. Kendra says he's really weird. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Just be safe. I always am. So how's school been going? It's fine. You seem to be awful busy lately. Yeah, senior year. A lot of stuff to do. Maddie, I was thinking maybe you, your mom, and I could stay home and see a movie today. I don't know about that. I got a lot of stuff to do, and I was planning on meeting a friend for a project. At 9 o'clock? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I'll just drop you off after this. I need you to drop me off. I'm not a 12-year-old. If you don't want to be treated like a 12-year-old, then you shouldn't act like one. Stop talking to me. What is going on with you lately? Answer me when I'm talking to you. Okay, you know what? If you don't want to talk about this, then maybe you should have one of those friends that you spend all your time with pick you up. Ready? Yeah. Now pay attention, because I can't do this for you every time. You're gonna to wanna to try to hit those surface veins. They're the easiest to hit. When you do it, you're gonna to wanna to be at a 45 degree angle. When you're in the vein, you should be able to draw back a little blood. If you're not in the vein, it should feel like a burning. telling myself that I must have just misplaced the money, but now I know that I'm not losing my mind. I just lost my ATM card and, and I thought that it would be okay if How I stupid do you think I am? Huh? 
don't you think your father and I know what's going on? That you've, you're different. You've, you've been skipping meals. You've been missing school. Don't you think that your father and I, your parents, would notice that you look different? You're emaciated. There's something going on, Maddie. You're different. I, I don't know what you want me to say. There's nothing to say, okay? I'm... You could figure out what you need to say when your father comes home. Because we're going to sit down and we're going to discuss this. Okay, fine. Right. No, I'm going to my room. I need you. I need... Please. Just... Stay, I need to run some errands for your grandma. And I need you to stay with Sophie, okay? And when we get home, we're gonna sit down together and we're gonna discuss this and we're gonna figure out how to fix this, please. Fix this, fix what? There's nothing to fix, I'm fine, okay? You just need to mind your own business. Maddie, you're better than this. I know it, and you know it too. <laughs> You're late. I know, sorry. I had a hard time coming up with the money. This isn't enough, Maddie. Look, I can give you half of what you usually get. Half? That's it? Next time, bring more money. I, I don't have any more money to bring you. I'm sure we can work something out. Like what? Like, bring me the money in the next few days. Otherwise, I'll find something that you can do to pay it off. Just take what I can afford now and figure out the rest later. I'm sure I'll see you real soon. Sophie, how many times have I told you it's rude not to knock? When are you gonna watch the movie with me? No, I can't today, I'm busy. You said that all last week and you promised me today. Okay, look, if you just let me finish my homework and stuff, then I'll watch a movie with you. You promise? Yes, just get out. Let me guess, tiny, a small salad. I'll take a